Gonna review a uh, Chrono Trigger. Just came out on PC. Don't buy it. Bam. That's it. That's my. I haven't even played it. I know better. Do you? Uh, why would you buy this? You don't know how an emulator works. Can't get a PlayStation One. What else is there really? Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you buy this? I mean, even if the reviews were better, which they're not, they're awful. Because they just ported a mobile game because they don't give a shit. Which is fine because no one expects them to give a shit. You can look at the like the Twitter comments here. Let's do this. Look how cool that is, right? Uh, Chrono Trigger, right? It's, um, there's me bitching. Uh, Hey, no, we need a Chrono Cross remake. No, we need a Chrono Trigger remake. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Oh, no, PS1 is perfect. Oh, it could use an HD refresh. Blah, blah, blah. Why don't we get Chrono Trigger 2099? Why don't we get this? Why don't we get that? Hey, why did they filter it? Why didn't they filter it? Why don't we get... Give me it on the Switch. Give me it on the Wii. Give me it on Virtual Console. I want this. I want that. Da, 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 da. You know? Now, I mean, hopefully Steam uh, stats, oh, you guys can't see it because I have my monitor messed up. Uh, it says, it says 700 people bought it. I really hope that's true because on here it says currently popular, which worries me. It worries me that some people spent their money on this. Why would you buy this? I really don't know. I saw some people on Twitter being like a few guys I follow and this isn't meant to like call them out or shame them it just made me think and that's why I'm doing the video so if you two guys see this video I really don't give a shit what you think just what you said interested me sort of even though I disagree with it it's not that you're retards or anything it's just it made me think um, they, they both were talking about how like well fine don't buy the game well the one guy was like I don't know if I should buy it or not I want to support the game and I said, if you want to support the game, get a tattoo. It's, I mean, it's 22 years old. What's supporting it going to do? You know, does do, do people want a Secret of Mana style remake of Chrono Trigger? Because everyone hated that. That blows my mind. I didn't see the big problem with it. Like, I don't like them voicing games that were not meant to be voiced in the beginning because it makes them really slow. Like, imagine if you went back and added uh, voice lines to Baldur's Gate. It would be horrible like you would take it would take hours if all of Baldur's Gate had voice dialogue some games don't need voice dialogue and probably uh, Secret of Mana didn't uh, you know there's a lot to be said for I think the Hairbrain Studios guys called it the theater of the imagination you know you don't pay for voice acting and but the player still gets voice acting you know why because what's in there but so whatever but people hated that port and I don't I didn't see the huge problem with it. it was 40 bucks I'm not gonna pay 40 bucks for it but people had huge problems with it and I don't think it was anything technical or anything it's just that like well it's not as good as the original and like well no shit nothing will ever be as good as these original games no remake will ever do justice to something in your past and um, you know, I thought of buying this, but in the end, like, do I really want to play Secret of Mana again? No. Do I really want to pay $40 to play a voiced version of Secret Mana? Double no. And things won't ever live up to how they were in your past. And that, that's a life lesson. And I think people with these games are chasing the past way too hard. And, and they wonder why they get so upset. You know, it's because you can't get back there. It's over. Um, and the other guy was like, well, don't buy the game, but, but make sure they know why you're not buying it. Like, as if we need more ports. But I, I don't think we do. I think if you have even a passing desire to play Secret of Mana or pff, fucking Chrono Trigger in this point, you could, you could, you do a lot of things. Emulators, very easy. Um, you could get your hands on a PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2. I don't think that's hard. Um, I'm pretty sure you could run it on PlayStation 2 with the swap trick, which is not very hard to do. Installing mod chip is tricky. PlayStation 1, I don't think mod chips are hard. I think they were still like three or four wire affairs back then. If 
if you can't figure that out I mean something it's a good skill to learn the minor electronic repair it'll help you if like your water heater ever breaks or something you want to be able to fix things I mean, we're not running too long five minutes but um, I really you know I don't get it I don't get why you'd buy chrono trigger remade um, why you want to get it on Steam, why you want to get it on Virtual Console. I mean, I, I understand, like, we all do this shit in life in a capitalist society that's sort of like a waste of money. And that, But that's life, you know? Sometimes you go to a bad play. Sometimes, like me, you have a desire to buy Final Fantasy XV on the PC, even though you bought it at full price for the PlayStation 4 and never played it. That's idiotic. Someone should come and freaking hit me upside the head for even thinking that. There should be thought crime. Like, Obama should just drone me. But, um, that's how it is. But I, I really don't see why anyone would buy this game or want more Chrono Triggers out there. It's like, we probably hit a definitive version back with PlayStation 1. And it's not going to get any better. And, like, unless you get whatever his name is, the Dragon Ball guy, Akira to hand draw every sprite it's not going to be better it's not going to be better and even then people will be like i like the sprite art more than the drawings of course they would like that's the thing that'd be beautiful if final fantasy 6 imagine if final fantasy 6 was redone wholly in the art style of the manual it'd be beautiful and yet there would still be these retro freaks these past time fetishists going i preferred the game with the sprites which is like just wrong i'm sorry the art was better than the sprites they did a great job on the sprites not the the sd sprites were okay but when they rendered the monsters into sprites it was a very good job but it would look better if the whole game was hand drawn but that'll never happen no one no one has the money the time or the interest if if uh what's his name ono it's not dead yet it will be soon the way the japanese work is sad but it's true you know that that's all there is to it don't don't buy this shit anymore don't even think about buying it when it comes out just be like just just let it be known how how ridiculous it is if you have a burning desire to play these old games um use an emulator or obtain original hardware neither is that hard now i know chrono triggers overpriced on the, the nintendo but it's on the PlayStation 1, and some of these older games, they're, they're fine on emulators. The, the only issue with emulators is if you're like a real chiptunes music snob, and then it's like, dude, just, just download midis and play them while you play the game, if it bothers you that much. You know? And I get these ports being compromised on a mobile system or a handheld, because there's a bonus there of being able to walk around. But if you're getting it on Steam, yeah, sit in your computer chair anyway. So why wouldn't you just get it on an emulator? Uh, it, it's really beyond my understanding. I'm sure, I don't think anyone will even watch this video, but I just felt I wanted to make a video. Um, not sure why. And I think this was a pretty pointless exercise. I doubt anyone will keep through with it. I think eh, nine minutes, not so bad. Maybe, maybe everybody could keep their eyes open through that, but, um, it's just, it's just silly to me. I'm just really surprised. It, it surprised me with the Deus Ex, the fall thing, when people were acting like, wow, this is so shitty. It's like, well, of course, it's a mobile port. Like, they don't give a shit if it's good. They just want money. Like, I don't know, man. It's like getting confused when you buy a DVD in Chinatown and it's got HK subs. You're just an idiot. And I'm sorry if anyone watching this was excited for the Chrono Trigger port or really wanted to play it on Steam, but like you should know better. And if you don't know better, then you, you're going to learn because this isn't going to stop happening. Square isn't going to suddenly give a shit about your time or your money or anything. So you're going to learn and you might as well just start thinking now and just you know if you really have not played these great old games find a way to play them i sure as shit don't go and run old dos games on a fucking candy i use an emulator everyone does just use emulators and if it's illegal who cares 
game's 20 years old. It ought to be free. It ought to be in a museum. Ah, <sighs> 10 minutes. 10 minutes. It's hard to... Hard to get this shit done. But 10 minutes. Thanks for watching, I guess.